What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we have it in the house. We've got Pixel 8 Pro Action. I've been using it now for about two days. I uh, took the SIM out of my Galaxy S23 Ultra, traded it in for a Pixel 8 Pro for the last 48 hours and used it. And I wanna give you guys some thoughts about using the Pixel 8 Pro over my S23 Ultra, which you guys know I love. So today we're gonna get into a quick comparison. Of course, I'll have a more in-depth comparison down the road. But everybody likes initial thoughts because, you know, if you're thinking about buying a Pixel, it keeps doing the NFC tag. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about buying a Pixel, obviously, then you want to make that decision soon. You probably don't want to make it down the road. So we'll go ahead and talk about that today. Before we get started, I want to thank my son, Jonathan. We got the T-Rex, this Raptor who has an injured leg. We had to stand him up with this box. We fixed him here, did a little surgery on him. Um, we appreciate him giving us some dinosaurs to hang out in the videos as always. And I also want to remind you guys, if you're going to be ordering something from the Galaxy S24 Ultra event in January, sign up for a mystery box from us. We get a free case, cleaning kit, other accessories, put in your name and email to be notified. We love doing this for the community. All you have to do is use our affiliate link at the time of your purchase. No cost to you in the U.S. It is United States only for shipping. We cover the shipping. You get some really cool accessories for your phone as well. So let's go ahead and talk about it. That's really getting annoying every time I tap my Pixel. It gives me the NFC tag thing there. Let's talk about the Pixel 8 Pro. So let me put the S23 Ultra aside for just a second. We'll come back to it in a minute. Uh, I knocked the Raptor over there. Sorry, Raptor. Um, this thing has an absolutely amazing build quality when it comes to the very back of this device. That's the first thing you notice when you get it in hand. Using it at 48 hours, I used it without a case for the most part. I do have a case for it. I got the Moss magnetic case here for it. But I've been using it without a case for most of the 48 hours, and I will say... This is the nicest frosted glass I've ever felt. And even comparing it to the S24 Ultra, there's just a smoothness to the frosted glass on the Pixel 8 Pro that you don't quite get even with the S23 Ultra. I don't know if I said S24 Ultra. I've been making too many leak videos lately. If I did, I apologize. There's just a nice smoothness to this texture on the back. It feels nicer to hold. This one's a little bit more abrasive, even though I wouldn't say it's bad. It's definitely something that I like and I would love to see Samsung incorporate that on the S coming, upcoming S24 Ultra. I did mean S24 Ultra in that case. The other thing that I absolutely love, which we know we're going to get with the S24 Ultra, that still bothers me on the S23 Ultra occasionally, is this is a completely flat display, and it is glorious. I still get false touches and ghost touches on my S23 Ultra with these little edges here, even though it's a slight curve, it's very slight, it is definitely, definitely, definitely still there, and it can cause some issues. The other thing I will say about the build quality differences between these two and just the way they're built is the S23 Ultra is a little less comfortable to hold in hand than the Pixel 8 Pro because we do have this boxy design. You can see here, here it's kind of squared off, and that is kind of sharp, kind of in the back of your hand if you're not using a case, whereas on the Pixel 8 Pro, um, you don't have that. It's nice and rounded down here, and now that you've got a flat display and that frosted glass back, this thing is just a real treat to hold in the hand and use on a daily basis. And you really are gonna wanna use this phone without a case because of how enjoyable it is. So those are my positive initial impressions. I'm certainly not saying that I dislike the S23 Ultra. In fact, you guys already know, I don't even need to tell you, I mean, I'll mention it at the end of the video, this is still gonna be my main phone. The S23 Ultra is gonna be my main phone. There's just too many things that I can't live without that the Pixel doesn't have. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But let's talk about some of the other positives before I get to the things that are going to force me back to my Samsung. There's always those things. That's why I use Samsung daily and it's very hard to get me away. There hasn't been a phone that's been able to do it in a long time. But the camera on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I took some photos yesterday um, of my son's dinosaurs. I took some photos that I shared over on Twitter. Let me just make sure I'm not putting anyone on blast. Yeah, this is the uh, pepper that my wife made for dinner last night, stuffed green pepper. Detail is just phenomenal, man. It takes amazing food pictures. Um, the color and the details too on the dinosaur photos that I just showed you guys is amazing. The Pixel camera is still really the selling point. And I will say, having used it now for these two days, the camera on here, particularly the video camera, is much improved from the Pixel 7 Pro. Um, of course, they've added a lot of cool AI features like the Magic Editor, all that stuff, which Samsung definitely could still do a little bit of catch up there as well. 
but the camera is still a huge selling point. And if I would have to rank one aspect of the Pixel 8 Pro above the S23 Ultra, it is in the main camera. The camera combined with the AI computation that Google does just really puts it on the next level for most of the photos that I take. And I will actually do a camera comparison between these two. You guys know that I normally don't do camera comparisons just because there's so many people doing them out there. It's really came my nerves. Um, and there's just so many people out there that it's hard to get views on those type of videos. But I'm so interested in this myself. I'm going to make a video doing a camera comparison and my full comparison of these two where we do it just for the fun because I want to see it. I know it's probably not going to get many views. No one's going to watch it because it's saturated. But that's okay. I just want to do it this time because I really like the camera on the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, there's a lot of other things about this phone, obviously, that are great, that are improved. The design, I mean, in terms of the build, like I said, the build choices and the comfort level of the Pixel 8 Pro, I definitely do think it's better than the S24 Ultra, the S23 Ultra, rather, sorry. And I do think it's probably still going to be a little more comfortable than the S24 Ultra just because of that sharp corner. Um, but if you put a case on it, you're really not going to notice that too much. Battery life, so far, I mean, I've had it for two days. I don't really like to make sweeping battery life generalizations. This phone is a little bit worse than my S23 Ultra running on One UI 6.0. I get around six hours on this phone, maybe like five and a half screen on time, but I'm also doing stuff, setting stuff up and all that stuff on here. So maybe it's not fully fair, but I did use wireless Android Auto on both of them. Um, use the wireless Android Auto on the Pixel, which I also use on the S23 Ultra on my commute every day. Um, the smoothness, you know, people kind of make a big deal about the difference in smoothness between Pixels and Samsung. There really isn't like a crazy difference anymore between the smoothness. I mean, you know, you can complain about Samsung's animations, but are they really that different in day-to-day -day use? You guys can see there, just opening X, it's not really like a huge difference to open the Play Store. Like that little load times and the animations going in and out, I don't really see any huge difference that makes me say, wow, stock Android or the Pixel Android experience is so much better that that's the version I want to use. Okay, so I talked about the main things that I love out of the gate. Let's talk about some of the things that really bother me about leaving my Samsung phone for a Pixel. The first thing that bothers me is one, and I use this a lot, so it's a huge deal to me. Some people call it a gimmick. It's a real thing to me, the S Pen. As a math professor every day, sometimes I want to scribble down a math equation, send something to a student who wants a hint, this is an invaluable tool for me. I also use it for highlighting stuff on social media when I want to share on the channel, make a thumbnail, very useful. The next thing is multitasking. Even though the Pixel can do some basic multitasking, you cannot do the multitasking you can do on a Samsung phone with pop-up windows. You know, I can make a pop-up window out of anything I want by just swiping down from the corner. I can store those everywhere. Uh, I can do, you know, up to three apps at a time multitasking in multi-window along with extra pop-up windows. So much multitasking you can do on your Samsung device. And I really miss that when I go to the Pixel. The last thing that I'll mention, there's, there's lots of them, but the last thing that really bothers me when I go from a Samsung device to a Pixel is all of the customization options that I get in Samsung's GoodLock app. Now I am using the One UI 6.0 beta so GoodLock isn't even fully optimized for One UI 6.0 beta yet, but there's still a lot of modules that they've updated that work. And I miss, you know, my Quick Star, my Theme Park, my Keys Cafe, um, my S Pen customization, Pantastic, um, Camera Assistant, One Hand Operation Plus, Nodi Star, all these modules that I use that enable me to get extra features out of my Samsung phone, they don't exist on the Pixel, quite frankly. And it's a little frustrating. So. For me, personally, the Pixel is great. Right now, I mean, it's, I'm still going to use this for another week as my main phone, and then we'll see. But initially, I don't see myself switching. And to be honest, there is a legitimate shot. I mean, this is the one phone that I think could somehow one day pull me away from Samsung. If there's a phone that could do it, it's definitely the Pixel Pro line. Um, when it comes to the iPhone, I'm never going to leave Samsung for an iPhone. It's just never going to happen unless Apple like changes their entire philosophy of software. But the Pixel, potentially one day, if they make some changes, it could happen. A lot of things would have to happen. Anyway, those are my initial thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you're gonna be ordering something from Samsung Unpacked in January, S24 Ultra Launch, sign up your name, your email if you're in the US, 
to get a free mystery box, case cleaning kit, all that fun stuff. We love doing it for the community. I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.